This is Pinnacle Hill, and this is Grand Island. Both of these places in western New York have ATSE 3.0 broadcasts. WUHF in Rochester, New York, and WNYO in Buffalo, New York. Since WUHF from Rochester, New York has been on the air with ATSE 3.0 for a couple of months, I decided to compare WUHF with WNYO, an ATSE 3.0 station that has been on the air for a couple of years. In this video, I'll be comparing these two stations and playing some audio and video back from both of these stations. All right, so I've got two tabs open on my MacBook. I have the channels for HD Home Run app. Since this is an Apple Silicon MacBook, I'm able to run the iPad app right here on my MacBook. And then I also have Parallels Desktop for Windows 11, so I can run the HD Home Run config GUI. So first off, I'd like to show you the differences between WUHF, the ATSE 3.0 Lighthouse from Rochester, and WNYO, the ATSE 3.0 Lighthouse from Buffalo. Both are in upstate New York, both are in western New York, both are operated by Sinclair, and both don't have any DRM encryption. So first off with WUHF, there's only two PLPs. There's PLP0 with a QAM64 implementation and a 1015 code rate, and then PLP1 with a QAM256 implementation and a 915 code rate. So first, WUHF has four stations, WUHF, WHAM, WXXI, and WROC. WUHF and WHAM are 720p, WXXI and WROC are 1080p. WUHF, which is Fox Rochester, is only on PLP0, and there's no other channels on PLP0, it's just WUHF. PLP1 has WHAM, WXXI, and WROC, all in its PLP. The first channel that you would lock onto by getting this station in is WUHF, which is Fox Rochester. Then, only about a decibel and a half, two decibels up, and you'll get WHAM, WXXI, and WROC. And as you can see, it is just barely coming back and forth in and out from PLP0. This has a minimum SNR of about 14 to 15 decibels. So right now it's below that threshold. It just turned green, so it's above that threshold. Now in terms of WNYO, which is from Buffalo, which is a lot closer, and we'll get in all of those channels on that deployment. As you can see with WNYO, there's three PLPs. There's PLP0 that is being implemented with QAM16 and an 1115 code rate. This only has WNYO, which is my TV. So this is the first station that you would get in with this ATSE 3.0 Lighthouse if you were at that minimum SNR. Then you've got PLP1, which is a QAM64 implementation with a 1015 code rate. And this only has WUTV, which is Fox Buffalo or Fox 29. And also, last but not least, there is PLP2, which has the remaining WKBW or ABC Buffalo, WGRZ, which is NBC Buffalo, and WIVB, which is CBS Buffalo. So as you can see, this is only 16 miles away and it's incredibly strong. So I'm getting in all three PLPs, PLP0, PLP1, and PLP2. And I've made a full video about WNYO about a couple years ago that you can check out. I'll have it linked in the description below. But in terms of WUHF, which is the newbie, as you can see, I can't pick this up very well because the SNR that it typically hangs at is usually around 10 or 11 decibels. So I am right below the minimum SNR to pick up PLP0, but it fluctuates very quickly. And as you can see, I just got PLP0 again and it just came off again. And it does this every day where it just barely goes above and below PLP0. Now let me show you what it looks like on channels for HD Home Run. So the coolest thing about channels for HD Home Run is that it actually supports Dolby AC4 audio without needing an internet connection like is the case for the HD Home Run app. So let me just bring up Fox Rochester, which is channel 131.1. 
HD Home Run has artificially made it the 100s to indicate that it is an ATSC 3.0 station. So I'm going to click on Judge Judy here, click watch. And as you can see, it is fighting to lock in PLP0 right now. It is fluctuating so much above and below the needed SNR right now that it's still holding on. It's still trying to lock this station in. So this is coming in now. The SNR has actually raised a bit. The cool thing about this app as well is you can show some pretty neat stats about the channel that's coming in. And as you can see, it is using Dolby AC4 audio and it has six channels, which means it's 5.1. And it's also only about 96 kilobits per second, which is actually more compressed sounding than what normal Dolby Digital 5.1 from an ATSC 1.0 channel would sound like. National correspondent Kier Simmons. Kier, thank you. To give you an idea, when I was in Miami and listening to the channels from WTVJ, they were all using the 144 kilobit per second 5.1, and those channels sounded the same as an AC3 384 kilobit per second audio. What Sinclair is using is 96 kilobit per second 5.1 audio that sounds compressed. This is a reduced quality variant of AC4 audio. So in my opinion, the audio is actually a downgrade. Now in terms of the video bitrate, it's coming in at about four and a half thousand kilobits per second, which is about 4.5 megabits per second. Now, when you compare this to WNYO's Fox station, which is channel 129 on the HD home run, as you can see, the bitrate on this station is way lower because this is only around 2,000 kilobits per second, and it's also using the same Dolby audio. So definitely in terms of picture quality, Fox Rochester is much better, but it comes at a trade-off of being a little bit more difficult to receive because it requires a higher SNR. And because there's five channels on WNYO and four on WUHF. WUHF simply has more room for higher bit rates. One of the things that was super surprising to me is that WXXI on this ATSC 3.0 transmission is only using Dolby Stereo audio instead of 5.1, and it only has a bit rate of about 48 kilobits per second. First, I'm not sure why Sinclair is even choosing to use the 96 kilobit per second variant to begin with, especially since audio takes up very little space. And also, why 48 kilobits? kilobits per second for WXXI. This audio really sounds like shit. Also, WGRZ from WNYO is supposedly being sent with 96 kilobit per second audio, but the feed that they're using does not sound good and sounds practically the same as the PBS station from Rochester. PM tonight, so that's definitely something to plan ahead for this evening, and that's PM tonight, so that's definitely something to plan ahead for this evening. And now, here's what typical 96 kilobit per second AC4 5.1 audio sounds like. For how many would say it's better to give than receive? All of the ATSC 3.0 channels from WUHF in terms of video quality look absolutely fantastic. With WNYO, some of the channels are heavily compressed, like WUTV and WNYO, because they're on the lower PLPs. But also, channels 2 and 4 don't even look as good as they could be because they're still interlaced. Other than that, I'm happy that these lighthouses aren't encrypted. If you like this video, consider subscribing and liking the video. Follow Western New York over the air on Instagram at WNY over the air. Like Western New York over the air on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash WNY over the air. And check out WNY over the air.com for live band scans, cord cutting tips, and much more.